I'm doing a modification on this central pneumatic 11 gallon portable air tank that I get at uh, Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, the worst part of this tank, this tank is awesome except the worst part is this piece of crap that they build for you. Uh, it's not efficient at filling and it is, mine started leaking after about 30 days of ownership. So all I've done is taken what they gave me completely out. Here I got a half inch iron pipe to a quarter inch reducer and then I had to put a little tiny quarter inch by close nipple there into this T which is a Husky uh, product I got at Home Depot. The dial also Husky from Home Depot. Here's the package, the SKU number there, just the two inch side mount. Uh, a lot of those come with eighth inch male. Uh, where this one comes with the quarter, which is very convenient. Uh, obviously, this tank only holds 125, so this is very sufficient. And then I put a female air receiver here. I also got that at Home Depot. Um, that way, I just carry a shortened uh, air hose with me with an air chuck on it. And also a blower chuck, just so I can use it for whatever I need to. Uh, in order to fill it, I built this which is just two males uh, on a shutoff valve. And I plug that into here, uh, turn my, and then plug my air compressor hose into that and turn this valve on or off. Now this is hooked up. If I wanted to drain this tank, it's as simple as turning this valve. Um, if I want to fill it up, I hook up my Compressor to Just it. like this, the compressor is charged, it's ready to go. All I have to do is turn this on and it'll fill up to the pressure of your compressor, which mine is set right below 120 right now. Pretty simple, pretty quick release. Once that's off, you're good to go. Here's my hose, I use about a 20 foot hose with my air chuck on the end. That way I don't have to take the tank out of the truck if I don't need to. This will reach back to my trailer tires or all around my truck. So it's all pretty uh, pretty simply contained in my truck uh, and always there for me to use.